You just got hibachi. You just got burned. The arm is a hibachi, so when it gets hot, you can't stop it. So that's why I say, like, when, when, when I'm shooting, you're sticking me, you're getting cooked. You're getting hibachi. What's going on, peeps? We back at it with another video. But before we go into it, we want to remind you to please hit that like and subscribe button so we can continue to bring that dope content concerning basketball and entertainment. As long as I get a clear shot, clear look at that rim, it's going in. No matter where. So let's get into it. Today we wanted to take a look at arguably one of the greatest shooting guards of the 2000s. It goes by the name of Gilbert Arenas. I seen a lot of shit I shouldn't have. You know, you're in LA, you see Gilbert Arenas, it's like, he's that guy. I mean, I think he's the most successful, uh, most successful, most popular player from the Valley. Arenas. No, he's a good like shot off. Will shoot it and hit it at the buzzer. Oh <laughs> Puts it up, he scores at the buzzer! Wow. Gilbert Arenas hits the game winner for Washington! Now, for many of our younger viewers, you might only know Gilbert Arenas as a podcast host of No Chill. But some of my older cats, you might remember Gilbert as Agent Zero, 007, No Chill Gil, or plainly, The Assassin. While a lot of players don the number zero these days, it was Gilbert Arenas who actually popularized that choice during his seven year stint with the Wizards from 03 to 2010. The three time All Star once revealed that he wore the number to signify the number of minutes that experts predicted he would play in the big leagues. Zero. Sacramento told me there's no way I would get past him at 25. Sacramento Kings select Gerald Wallace from the University of Alabama. But somehow went to 31. One by one, teams passed him by until the Warriors finally chose Gilbert in round two. I had so much anger inside to see just teams just crush my dream. You know, most players are happy to get drafted. Arenas' ascension began with the Golden State Warriors, where he went from a second round draft pick to the NBA's most improved player in the 2002-03 season. All in the span of two years. By his second year in Washington, Arenas was an NBA All-Star. And by his third year, he was competing for scoring titles averaging 29.3 points per game, which was second in franchise history at that time. The Wizards have only been to the playoffs just once in 16 years before the 2005 season, when Arenas helped lead them to three straight postseason runs. He made All-NBA three times. He was the first Wizards player to do so since Elvin Hayes in the 1970s. Arenas wasn't simply an NBA star either. He was a showman with a knack for coming through in the big moments. He made a series of buzzer beaters during the brief time he was at his peak, including one to win a playoff game against the Chicago Bulls in 2005. Arenas had so many other clutch shots during the regular season, including one against the Milwaukee Bucks, where he turned and casually walked away as if he knew it was going in. He made the fans who showed up to the arena always feel like they were seeing a show. Arenas holds the franchise record for points in a single game with 60. 60 points that he dropped on who other than Kobe Bryant. Just six days later, after dropping 60 at the Staples Center, he scored 54 against Steve Nash and the Phoenix Suns, one of the best teams of that decade. Arenas' size and strength with a cat quick first step and deep shooting range that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. He could pull up from 35 feet and sink a jump shot or put the ball on the floor and muscle his way to the rim. That combination led him to being one of the best 
in the game at getting to the free throw line where he shot 80% for his career. All of those factors made Arenas one of the most gifted scorers of his generation. A lot of people say he was hardened before Harden. Growing up, like, Gilbert Arenas is that guy. Like, there are going to be kids now growing up and they're like, oh, Euro step, James Harden, all that. No, 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 no. It was hibachi. It was shooting, turn around, like, everything, all that. So he was my James Harden. I was going to say, I think I saw a tweet, right? Yeah. 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 Do you know about this? Yeah, that was the tweet. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, I tell people all the time, like, man, Gilbert Arenas was James Harden for James Harden. Karan Butler compared his game to Harden, and it's easy to see why. A lot of what we see today from Harden and other elite deep shooters like Curry and Atlanta's Trey Young has its roots in Arenas' days in Washington. There was also Arenas' personality. He would light up opposing teams and deliver front page quotes afterwards. Lines like, my swag was phenomenal and hibachi were just part of his legend. I hit a couple of shots and, you know, and then I shot it and I was like, hibachi, and it went in. Unfortunately, Arena's career can't be explained without including a wide variety of negative stories. His knee injury was followed by a frustrating saga between him and the Wizards medical staff. His post-playing career has been marred by controversial statements and a disconnect with the Wizards franchise. And of course, there is the gun incident. Court documents filed Tuesday show prosecutors want Washington Wizards star Gilbert Arenas to spend three months in prison. Arenas pleaded guilty to a weapons charge back in January. He'll be sentenced on Friday. Now come reports from the New York Post and Yahoo Sports, both citing unidentified sources that say Wizards point guard Gilbert Arenas and teammate Javaris Crittenden allegedly drew guns on each other during a recent locker room argument over a gambling debt. The league, the team, and D.C. police already were investigating why Arenas brought guns into the Verizon Center last month. The Wizards have said the firearms were unloaded and kept in a locked container with no ammunition. Friday, Wizards coach Flip Saunders had nothing more to say about the matter. We've made a statement, and that's all I'm commenting on right now. Hey, have you talked to your boy Javaris lately, or what? Who? Javaris. Who was that? Clintonton, your, your ex-teammate? I don't, I don't Yo, know. He just got sentenced? There are several reports to this story, but what seems to be consistent is that during a team flight on December 24, 2009, players Javaris Crittenden, JaVel McGee, and Gilbert Arenas were playing a game of bull ray, similar to speeds. It seems that Crittenden did not like the outcome of the game and was calling for a missed deal. According to Arenas, he says that the plane lands, and now Javaris says to Javel, so you just going to let me lose my money like that? You ain't even going to be a real in and give me a chance to get my money back? Oh, hell nah. This the type of that gets you in the streets. Authorities say Arenas threatened to shoot Crittenden and blow up his car. So Arenas claps back to Javaris. I'll burn your car while you in it. Then we'll find an extinguisher to help you out. And the response from Javaris was, well, I'll just shoot you then. So Gilbert Arenas claps back and says, man, I'll bring you the guns to shoot me. You, it sounds like what you did was hilarious. Like, I mean, I realize that, I realize, dear listeners, that playing with guns can be very dangerous. I don't want to, <laughs> but the idea of, the, the idea, correct me if I'm wrong, you presented four uh, guns and said, Pick, 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 pick the one you want me to use on <laughs> you? See, but see, that was, that was said, my argument. The Post reports Crittenden became angry at Arenas for refusing to make good on a gambling debt. The paper cites NBA sources saying Arenas was prompted to draw on Crittenden. At a practice two days later, after an off day, Arenas brought four unloaded guns into the Wizards locker room and laid them out on the table. It was about me calling his bluff, Arenas said. You said you're going to shoot me. Fine, I'll bring the guns. According to Arenas, it was all supposed to be a big joke. I'm a jokester. You know, nothing in my life is actually serious. Unfortunately, Arenas' career can't be explained without including a wide variety of negative stories. His knee injury was followed by a frustrating saga between him and the Wizards medical staff. His post-playing career has been marred by controversial statements and a disconnect with the Wizards franchise. And of course, 
There is the gun incident in the locker room at the Capital One Arena among the most ill-advised off-courts decision in league history. Arenas lived an eventful yet incomplete NBA life. His career was over at the age of 30. If he had only stayed healthy and out of his own way, maybe he would have ended up in the Hall of Fame, made the Wizards to places they haven't been in decades. We'll never know. And all we can do is continue to marvel at his extraordinary rise and fall, even after all of these years. But you know what's so funny? That's usually why fights start. Yes. It's never really about the money. Can you it's the, make it's the money? talking. It's the embarrassment. It's, yes. it's just the whole atmosphere of how someone lost. Arenas rose to start him quickly, but he crashed just as fast, leaving many to this day wondering what could have been. After a string of injuries, Arenas was out the league after the 2011-2012 season. From this little presentation, man, we can see that Gilbert Arenas was a beast. He probably could have been a Hall of Famer. Probably could have been one of the top 50 players in the NBA all time. But unfortunately, poor decision making and bad moves kind of derailed his career. But you can check out his podcast, No Chill, on YouTube to see that he's doing well. I think he's going into coaching, uh, coaching youth basketball. We wish the best for Gilbert Arenas, man, and we say thank you for the great memories. We hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.